Thwomp here, and welcome to episode three of Hey Arnold, the movie game. Last time, we went through the boring hours and found photos of the tomato incident in order to learn that there was a document created that declared Arnold Street a historical site, which would in turn make it where it can't be demolished. We then went to a corner to learn about the location of the file, and then we basically set out to get some secret agent equipment, and then we went to Nick Versetti's apartment where we, for Miss Setti's apartment, where we defeated him and stole his key, and now we gotta go to the tunnels. Okay. And as you can see, we are playing as Grandpa Phil. Frankly, Grandpa Phil, he wouldn't need any powers. Grandpa Phil, he could basically bench press over 200 pounds at his age. So basically, I'm pretty sure that he could easily ki kick a bunch of guys' asses with just his bare hands. The boys are off risking their lives with some crazy plan to find a rare historical document. We've got to think of a backup pl scheme that will bail us out when their plan fizzles. Yeah, and then first plan, just strap Oscar to the front of the boarding house. So that way, basically, if they plow it down, that way they basically they can't plow it down. I fear that basically there'll be there'll be a murder there'll be a murder scandal. And if they do plow the boarding house down with with Oscar, it's a win. They basically take down Oscar. It's a win-win. That would just hit Ernie and with basically his with his with basically with a wrecking ball, and then just have him fight him off. Hey, wait a minute! I forgot. All, I forgot all about the secret tunnels. You must find the t the entrance to the secret tunnels. Anyways, new theme. Yeah, basically, Grandpa is is Grandpa Phil. His main weapon, basically, instead of gum, he uses false teeth, which basically are very similar, and he can also do the tackle as well. Just that smile on Grandpa's face, basically, he's killing a guy with a tackle. And then just grab a bill, just absolutely decimating his enemies. Okay, anyways, this one you just gotta make it to the end of the level. Okay, I'm pretty sure that you have to go all the way to the right. Okay, wait right down here. Okay, nice. Now we just gotta make our way back up there. Yeah, climb, climb, climb. Yeah, Grandpa Phil, just slowly walk along. It's not like we're in a crisis situation. Meanwhile, Grandpa Phil, he looks absolutely terrified when he has to duck. Arnold, he looks, he looks, he looks curious. You know, Grandpa Phil, he looks like he's about to get struck down with the, by the lightning of God. Like he's trying to hide from Oscar. Grandpa Phil's main fear, he goes to, he basically dies. He finds himself in some purgatory boarding house with Oscar as the only person there. No Arnold, no Gertie, just Oscar. Frankly, I'm pretty sure that would be hell for anyone, where basically Oscar is the only person in the world. You're trapped alone in the world with Oscar. Hey, Grandpa, can I have $5? Grandpa, I need food. Grandpa, I need nourishment. Make me food, Grandpa, make me a sandwich. Yeah, okay, let's go. And yeah, meanwhile, Oscar's hell. He has to make his own food. He has to make his own sandwich. Okay. Let's see up here. See what's up here. Okay. They take to the streets. Okay. I thought they would put this entire area to the right of the manhole cover. I said to mess with your head. Okay. Let's go over here. And too bad we don't have our run ability. That would be really nice. Anyways, I believe that this is one of those games where if you get more than nine lives, basically, it'll show as having you having nine lives, but it'll still count as you having, say, ten lives. So, for example, if I had ten lives, if I died right now, it would just still show nine. Thank you, basketball. Okay. Let's see if there's anything over here. Maybe I could get a run. That'd be really nice. Okay, run. Okay, just yellow tomato. Okay. Boom. Bang. Okay, let's get going. 
And... Okay, more fish, hooray. Okay, let's wait for it. Eh. Though, frankly, I'm a little disappointed, though, that we never got a level in this game. Okay, sorry. I'm a little dis... Okay, I'll just... I'll say this when we get into the next area. Okay, next one. If we wire the tunnel with explosives and blow a hole in the street, that bulldozer can cross. But what if, but what if basically you have people who are standing right above the blast zone? Grandpa Phil could be killing a bunch of people. Yeah, Grandpa Phil gets a bunch of manslaughter charges at best. And just that face. A man, yeah, basically you see that face. Just that's the last face you see. I killed them all, Arnold. I killed them all, short man. You must place dynamite in the five areas marked with yellow squares. But anyways, I'm a little disappointed, though, that we didn't get one of the levels as a second Nick boss fight where we get to fight him with Hulk Big Bob. Because seriously, that was one of the highlights of the film. Just Big Bob going absolutely ham on, on, based on Nick. Bob knows that he's being betrayed, and darn it, Bob basically proceeds to just get into a fight with Nick. No holds bar. Nick feels absolutely threatened for his life. And then Bob is going absolute Hulk with he gets the pickle juice on him. So frankly, if so at that point in the film, just have it where just though in that though that also makes me wish that basically a fan theory was real. Where basically there's a fan theory that the TV show Recess is essentially a prequel to Hey Arnold because basically because in Recess there's a character King Bob who is who who looks like a younger version of Big Bob, and who basically has a very similar personality. So basically, so the fan theory goes that basically, hey Arnold is setting the future, is setting the future of that of that world. So basically, in that case, if, if Big Bob was working with, Ar was basically wanting to stop Sheck, he could have easily called that favor from President TJ. Because basically, we all know that from recess, T it would only be a matter of time before TJ could become president. Because basically, TJ, he, he, was a, he was a man of the people. He could easily take leadership of a situation. So basically, I, I have no doubt that TJ would have become president of the, would have become president of the nation. In that case, basically, okay, so how do I do this? Okay, I, I don't know the controls for this. What the? Where are the controls? I don't know the controls! Okay, I thought I would have figured this out by now. Oh, you have to push up! You have to push up to put the TNT down. The game does not explain this! But yeah, in which case, if TJ was called in, he would definitely do a favor for Big Bob. Because basically, TJ has shown himself in, in recess to be very loyal to those who he's close to, even if basically he doesn't hang out, even if he doesn't really associate with them much, as long as they were his friend at one point and they weren't on bad terms, TJ would definitely just stick his neck out for them. Heck, he would go to Menlo's birthday party, even though basically Menlo and him really did not get along just throughout the majority of the show. So basically, I would easily imagine that TJ would definitely call up, would definitely do a favor for his for the kid for the former king of the playground basically the king who he served as the gest the basically the gesture of pranks so basically so i could easily imagine tj he brings in gus in the military in which case the film would then take a sudden turn where Sheck would no longer be the main antagonist it would be gus because gus knowing how gus is basically how quick gus is to try to seize power Gus would try to take over the playground, would try to take over the city. He would put it under martial law. And basically, just, oh, the, just everyone would have to then team up to take down Gus. Because basically, they would all have to sing the, the mighty Gus, the, the King Gus song. Gus, Gus, oh mighty Gus, king of all the playground. Gus, Gus, oh shiny Gus, we're glad such a great king we have. Uh, just all the low enemies here. Okay, hopefully I'm not missing anything. Okay, for a second there, I thought I was I missed an area. And die. Okay, let's see if we're missing anything. But yeah, that would actually be a pretty cool just sort of crossover. Just 
Gus Griswold, he's, in, he's basically utilizing the armed forces to absolutely just go wreak havoc on the city. Okay, eh. Okay, let's go in here. I'm pretty sure that's, there's one over here. Well, at least we, we have something. What? Why put that there? And now I have nothing. Why put that? Well, I'm back. And now I got the wonky throw attack. Great. Okay. And yeah, too bad you can't throw from a ladder. But yeah, that's the thing with this area. It tries to mess with mess with your head. You're like, oh, I can't. I got this invincibility donut. I might as well just run for it. Then all of a sudden, nope, instant death below. This is what I get for for mocking the might of King Gus, king of all the playground. Because really, just every episode in which Gus gained an iota of power in recess, he went absolutely mad with it. Basically. He essentially created a third Reich, but with germs as his main extermination target. Frankly, I'm surprised Gustin tries to have a concentration camp for the germs. Yeah, but it does anyway. Uh, okay, for sale, we almost died. Thank goodness. Okay. And then, like, and then, like I said, just Gus going abs. And then when Gus became the Gustler kid. Basically, Gus behaved absolutely sleazy. Frankly, if Gus would have been given the chance, he would have definitely went NFT crazy or cryptocurrency crazy. Actually, nah, TJ would be more likely to just start to go into to dive head first into crypto. Because basically, what with the whole sticker craze, when TJ became an absolute business tycoon on the playground, he took over every business. No one was around to trust bust TJ. Yeah, that would be the only limitation to TJ's presidency. It's kind of odd how, T how in the show, TJ never tried to actually become president, school pres class president. Well, I can't jump over there. Okay, I may very well be screwed because I can't jump. Okay. Really, just let me just let me jump. Okay, watch out, that's just an optional area. Okay, I have a feeling that maybe the first one is white is way back in the first area because there was an under air pass sort of area. Grandpa's dead. He's dead because he touched the because he touched a bat. Really, these sewer vents, these sewer vents. This level is horrible. I'm sorry. It is because basically the game it throws all these enemies from the sky at you. It throws all these sky-based enemies and all these ground-based enemies. There's no enemy that's on the ground. And the thing is, you just can't easily hit the bats. Yeah, because basically they just come at you at a weird angle. Okay, let's see. Okay, eh. Throw at you. Thank you. Okay. Let's head back. Okay, yeah, they don't... I think that area over there may actually be the area that leads to the gold, the yellow tomato for this area. At least I hope so. Okay. Oh, there's something over here. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely something over here. If, okay, I went to that TNT already, so... Okay, any others? Okay, we already went to that room. 
Okay, hopefully I can maintain this jump so I can at least see what's beyond that other door. Okay. Yeah, because if the chest did respawn, then maybe it's like, oh, hey, you gotta grab this power and then go all the way over there. That's the thing with this area. It's a maze. It's an absolute maze. Okay, jump. Jump. I swear this game did not like Grandpa Phil. It's weird. Why is Grandpa Phil being hated on by the game? The game's like, you know what, Grandpa Phil? You get the sewers. You go in the sewers because you're trash. You're a turd, Grandpa Phil. You're a turd and you're going to go where you belong, you turd man. Eh, go. Thank you. Oh. Okay. There should be a bat in there. Or maybe there. No, I'm not getting hit by another bat. I'm not getting by that rat. Okay, anything here? Okay, I'm gonna go over all the way to the far right just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Uh, no. I mean, look at what the game wants you to dodge. They don't give you much attack variation. Okay. Come on. Okay, we'll have to climb down very slowly. Okay, yep, guessed it right. The yellow tomato was here. And yeah, you get hit by a single bat, you fall off the ladder. And you just can't casually jump. I I'll take the defeat. I am not game overing on this. I am not, I refuse. And I didn't write the passwords down. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I went down here already. Yeah, so that's not good, that's not good. I'm just retraining old ground. Yep, just retreading old ground. Yeah, it would be nice if they had like a, oh hey, you have this many TNTs in this area. And they don't let you move on to the next area until you put down the TNT. Instead of like, find the TNT, Grandpa Phil. Find in your sewer. This is why Grandpa Phil looks terrified. Because he knows that the game hates him. He's pissed off the game. He's pissed off some some eldritch abomination and it wants to put him in purgatory. Watch how this is just Grandpa Phil's purgatory. And then just the boss is Oscar. Hey Grandpa, welcome to my hell zone. Okay. No. That or st we're facing Stinky's minions, frankly Stinky. Stinky would command the bats of the city because they're his vampiric slaves. So anyways, let's get going. Yeah, it's weird that basically they just give Grandpa Phil the difficulty you spike. Arnold, Gerald, their levels, not too bad. Grandpa Phil, on the other hand, he can tell. Even the Gertie levels are not that bad. Because they're like, oh hey, just get to the end. And also fight the boss. Okay. Anything over? Oh yeah, yeah, we already went in this area. Ow! Yeah, we went here already. I'm sorry. Every room in this in this level looks the same. They're all the same. This level was the reason why I could never defeat this game in my youth. I swear it was. Because basically, this level just frustrated me to no end because the enemy placements. As well as the fact they just, they don't tell you how to put down the TNT. They're like, figure it out. 
even though the up button doesn't really do much except slightly push the camera upwards. So yeah, just, so why would you not think to yourself, you know what, that's what we need to use. We need to push the up button in order to put down TNT. When I first played this game, I thought you had to basically push down and press B or something like that, you know? Just like an action command. But no, you don't. You push just up. You just push up on the control pad. Okay, apparently I'm trapped here. I'm trapped in this limbo. Okay, you gotta find where that thing is. Why can't they just make it where the rats are a little, like, make normal enemies? Instead of just these enemies that you're constantly having to fight. Okay. Or better yet, make it where the enemies don't respawn like absolute mad. Seriously! The, the army of rats is invisible, and not to mention, the rats have that weirdly deceptive wide range attack to them. Okay. Yeah, you, it's not like you can easily get around the rats. The rats are your enemies here. Yeah, this episode is gonna be a little on the longer side, but yeah, that's one reason why I kind of wanted to do it where just each world is its own episode, because basically just, it's a good division point, you know? Okay. Okay, anything down here? Just water, because apparently Grandpa Phil can't swim, even though he was shown to be very capable of swimming. He was, he punched out a shark for God's sake. So yeah, Grandpa Phil can't swim, but he can punch out a shark. Okay, nothing over there. I couldn't see! Okay, nothing over there. Except the exit that leads back there. Okay! No, this is gonna be us. This is gonna be the episode. Let's try and find our way to gain this detonation switch. Come on! Okay. I mean, at least the music's pretty solid. Okay. Before we put the TNT down there. And, yeah, they really hate Grandpa Phil because they give him a donut. But yet they don't give him enough time to really use the donut. He has the room that he gets in and has pretty much nothing. Why does this rat have a weird, weird water kick to it? Ugh, Grandpa Phil, why are you betraying me? And then they limit you because you lose, oh yeah, you die in this area. You lose your tomatoes, you lose all your good things. What? Really? They put a secret wall in this area. They were like, let's put a secret wall. How are you supposed to know that that's a secret wall? No, oh, let me out. We have wired all the explosives. What, what was with that invisible wall? Why is there an invisible wall? Hey Arnold has very little supernatural gravity other than Stinky being a vampire. As well as ghosts. And Big Bob's alien encounter. Lights out. 
You must escape from the prison. Frankly, any prison that has Gertie locked in it, they are she isn't locked in their prison. They're stuck with her. Especially Gret, since she'll kill you with a roll of toilet paper. Even though they just throw a bunch of rats. At least with this level, it's, oh hey, escape. But instead, they give you a bunch of water. They're like, there's your water. You want water? Well, there's your water. Lots of water. I know. Okay. Anything? Okay, and a jump up. No well, power up would be really nice. Okay. Okay, let's climb down. Okay. Die. I swear, the rats are some of the worst enemies in this game. The rats and the bats. Just because, like I said, you have to be precise with your aim. They, now, if all the enemies in the game were basically the businessman and the banana guy, if the worst enemy in this game was the banana guy, there would be absolutely no issue. But, you know, instead they decide, let's throw a bunch of rats and bats in here. Yeah, enjoy the remix. Yeah, enjoy that remix that you just heard. That's the special Darth Womp Rage remix. Okay. Thank you, I'll take that. Hopefully we'll be able to reclaim some of our honor. I know, game, I know that basically that it's that I know I bad that it's time for me to that it's borderline time for me to stop the episode. But hey, we're almost done. We're almost done with this world, so might as well do it. Die. Kill it with a roll of toilet paper. Okay. Yeah, but really, they gave Grandpa Phil the absolute worst level in this game. It was like the creators of this game. They had hatred for Grandpa Phil in their hearts. As if Grandpa Phil was the least favorite character. They're like, we'll show that old coot. We'll basically, we'll give him the worst level in the entirety of the game. That'll teach him. That'll teach him for existing in our world. Enjoy this remix, the grand, the Grandma Gertie remix. Okay. Eh, go. Okay, yeah, now they make it where the triple jump works against you. The, the high jump works against you because basically dealing with these spiders. These spiders that you can't kill. Because some enemies you can't kill. The spiders are, so, are one such enemy. Okay, let's climb down. Okay, can we find any powers? Okay, there's something down there. Now, by the laws of, of video game logic, the lower the level, the the more likely you'll find the main objective. So, as such, we'll stick to the uppers. Let's see what we find. You're outside the prison, Grandma Girl. You just slide down the pipe. Really, just Grandma Gray would not hesitate to slide down a pipe if it meant getting out of prison. Okay. Boom. Okay, I got that tomato. Okay, let's get out of here. And wait for that spider. Don't punch me, game. Don't punch me. Die. Okay, this should be the exit. Okay, so you're telling me that Grandma Gertie can't slide down a gutter, but yet she can run across electrical wires like Sly Cooper. And, yeah, and hop across the rooftops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 Grandma Gertie. Don't slide down the pipe and just escape the prison that way. We should be outside the prison. I mean, really, just how, how big is this industrial complex? 
And we have another banana guy, a variation. A random fist man on the chimney. Okay, we're out of the prison. Hurrah, stage clear. Womp! Just, just not the sound womp. Not, not, just not, oh, an anomaly of happening. A Grandma Gurry land, basically landing in a laundry basket. No, just womp! Defeat the prison guard. Die! Okay! Okay, good. For a second there, I thought was that wasn't a gravel pipe, and I would have regretted my life decisions at that point. I know! Die! Die! Come on! No, oh, no, you don't. Okay, I got an extra life out of it. Good to see, good to see. Ah, no! And then the rats just get turbo speed. Why are there so many rats? What is with the city and its rat population? Nah! Why is he throwing spoons? Hamburger! I could die to water. Come on! There! Come on! Yes! Okay! A tactical hit! Tactics, son. Tactics. Okay, we should be almost done. Yes, okay, one more hit, we should be good. Yes, there we go, we win. And he's dead, look, yes, he loses his pupils. We killed him with a roll of toilet paper. Oh, thank God, we're done. Okay, for our next area, the FTI building. Password this time around. I think that would it'd be wise for me to take a picture of that password at this point. Just so that way, I that way in case I get a game over, I have the password. Come on, come on. Yeah, this is what happens when I keep my iPhone off all weekend. I don't have my phone on all weekend. I'm not a phone person. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Anyways, I think now would be a good time to end things off. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want, and I'll see you next time. Bye.